Why no contact is not the end of the narcissist. When you go no contact with the narcissist, they lose their source of supply. They lose their source of fuel. And they don't really want to move on. They want to keep you around. Which is why they normally give you breadcrumbs. But when you go no contact, that's when you will see the narcissist's true colors. You will see who they really are. Because it will not be the end of the narcissist. They will stalk and harass you. They will pop up at your home. They will pop up at your work. They will try to sabotage whatever you're doing. Because your no contact hurts the narcissist. It takes away their control. And then they are starved of attention. They're starved of supply. So then they will quickly try to find your replacement. But that doesn't mean they're going to stop harassing you. They will even triangulate you with their new supply. When you go no contact, it is not going to be the end of the narcissist. And sometimes it can be very dangerous because there's no telling what they will do. They can be very unpredictable once you have taken away their supply. They will mess with you. They will try to get inside of your head. But going no contact is almost always the right thing to do. Because there is nothing you can say or do to make them respect you. They're not going to change. They're quite comfortable with how things are. They're quite comfortable laying in their own filth. They feel no desire to change anything. But no contact is not the end of the narcissist. Because if someone really wants to contact you, they will find a way to do it. They will create other social media accounts. They will get a new phone number. They will start to see it as a game. A game that they want to win. But no contact does work. It ends their supply. Because your relationship is their supply. They use it to regulate their emotions. They use you as their emotional punching bag. And their temper tantrums hurt you. Which is why it's so important to end your contact with them. But when you do that, it will not be the end of them. They will often become angrier and even more threatening. And if you give in, they will scold you for trying to cut them out. As though you had no reason to do that. But if you stay no contact, eventually they're going to give up. 
because they're not getting anything out of it. So they have no choice than to find someone else. They have no choice than to stop bothering you. But after a few months have gone by and they're in a difficult situation or they need money, they will often come back again. They will try to make you feel guilty so that you slip up and break your pattern of no contact so that you get pulled back into the relationship or they will try to love bomb you again they will try to win you over but then they will devalue you and then they will discard you which is why it is so important to stay no contact you may feel confused you may feel guilty but you should feel relieved that you're no longer being criticized you're no longer being made less confident less powerful or less likely to succeed they're no longer there to control you or to gaslight you so recognize how much better off you are without them. Because now there's no one there to bring you down. There's no one there to invalidate you. There's no one to make you doubt yourself. You can be the person that you want to be. You can do whatever you want. You can live the life that you want to live. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.